Kit Guru is with Seasonic at Computex 2024 and we have some fascinating power supplies to see. And while you might think that's a contradiction in terms, you'd be wrong, as I shall prove. Come this way. Would you believe that Seasonic has got the PX2200, a 2200 watt power supply, or rather they will have, it's coming soon, rated at platinum. This is ATX 3.1, weighs the blooming earth, and just look at the connectors, in particular the PCI Express Gen 5 connectors. Clearly this is not for gamers. This is a mega high-end power supply for serious workstations. And yes, AI was mentioned while we were being walked around this power supply. We do not have a price for this power supply. I'm prepared to say it's gonna be horribly expensive. I'm not gonna guess at the price, however. But that's the PX2200, and we'll see it in a built system very soon. Next to that is something that will intrigue you. It's a version of the Prime TX1600, and look, Noctua. Now this is more than just a color job. Obviously we have Noctua brown and Noctua fan, that's obvious, you can also see the grill is Noctua. However, internally, the power supply cooling has had to be revamped to take full advantage of the Noctua fan. Apparently this takes quite a period of time. We do not expect to see this power supply this year. We hope to see it early next year, so 2025. That intrigues me. And we move along, and we see various Vertex, or Vertexes. Now these power supplies are all currently ATX3. However, they will be replaced with ATX 3.1, the very latest spec. And as we can see, we have platinum and gold models. And then we see something, a detail of what goes on inside these power supplies. So we have a Focus ATX3, but these are currently being upgraded to the latest ATX standard. And the cooling internally has been changed. This is the cooling all Seasonic power supplies currently use. This is the new cooling. And the fascinating thing here is the current cooling, the old technology as they kindly call it, uses thermal compound, just like the processors that we're familiar with. However, OptiSync is a direct attachment system. It's generally used in servers and other more expensive hardware. They've apparently found a way to do it cheaper. And this is much more effective, allows for quicker manufacturing, and also greatly improves cooling. OptiSync is gonna come first to focus because that's the model that's due for upgrading very soon. It will then roll out to all other Seasonic power supplies in the near future. We have more focuses going around. Core is a relatively budget line from Seasonic, but of course we expect it to be made to Seasonic's usual high standards. We are familiar with the Prime TX1600. Indeed, we've reviewed it. It did very well. But we have other primes that we haven't previously seen. This is the Sakura version that I believe Alan has already reviewed. And next to that, we have a special China edition. It's the year of the dragon, don't you know? Let me lift up the box. You see? Dragons. And we can do more dragons. We have dragons. This modded system by a creator whose name I am not going to read out on camera because I'm honestly not entirely clear how to say it, but that, that is the creator of this system that's all about the Year of the Dragon. So we have the Year of the Dragon power supply, more dragons, and you'll notice we have a rotary thing, which is apparently a version of a compass, and it's to do with money and other good things in particular directions in your life. There's philosophy there, and it's all way beyond my ken. This mod, on the other hand, I understand far better. It's using recycled materials, so CNC cut wood and acrylic, liquid cooled, obviously, as we can see the cables and the coolant, Seasonic colors. So it looks a little crude in a way, but that's because it's using recycled materials. Fans. We've seen Magflow fans before. Seasonic has Magflow fans both in non-RGB and also RGB. You'll notice they're PWM and they are 1225. That means 120 millimeters and 25 millimeters in thickness. But 
as the saying goes, there's more. Behold the 1230 fan. Now you will be able to work out that means 120 millimeters and 30 millimeters in thickness. No magnetic connectors. It's a high power fan. Runs to 3,300 RPM for maximum airflow. That could potentially get very noisy. And a trick that we've previously seen from other manufacturers, you have three modes and a little switch there. So you pick your mode before you install the fan and that limits the maximum speed and controls the noise levels. Those fans are going to be reasonably priced at about 25 pounds, euros, dollars, available 120, 140 mil, white, black, and apparently there will be ARGB versions. We have a nifty PC build, which just looks very pretty. And as we move past that, We come to the PX2200 in action. This is the kind of hardware you need to drive a 2200 watt power supply. Threadripper with maximum number of GPUs. I'd like to say it's absolutely epic, but of course that'd be a terrible play on words. It is in fact Threadripper. And as you can see, Seasonic is even mentioning AI on their signage. AI edge computing, because everything's AI at Computex 2024. But this is the PX2200 in action with external cooling, I imagine by AlphaCool. Looks awesome. And I'm signing off in front of the Magflow fans because I like them. This has been Kit Guru at C Sonic Computex 2024. Remember, we're on TikTok and check out kitguru.net for our written reviews.